Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, what is nuclear localization signals and how to predict in silico uh, if the protein contains nuclear localization signals or not. Nuclear localization signals, they are generally short uh, peptides that act as a signal fragment that mediates the transport of proteins from the cytoplasm into the nucleus. So basically, what are these nuclear localization signals? These are the sequences, small sequences present in the protein, present in the protein that actually trans that, that act as a signal uh, for the transport of that particular protein from the cytoplasm uh, to the nucleus. As you know that protein synthesis occurs in a ribosome which is present in the cytoplasm then how do the nuclear proteins go to the nucleus for for the nuclear proteins to go to the nucleus they must have these uh, sequences these specific short sequences in them so these se sequences are called are called nuclear localization signals okay so then how to predict these nuclear localization signals to predict nuclear localization signals in silico uh, we can use various tools one example is nls map so in this nls map it's very simple to use tool it's a web browser you are just going to click here nls map and then the new uh, window will pop up okay so then what you have to do you have to put your sequence sequence of the protein of which you want to determine if this particular protein has nuclear localization signals or not okay so the sequence will be amino acid sequence you put it here and then you can select a cutoff score so it can be two three four five default is five six or seven so the higher the cutoff score uh, the greater the chance that the protein is nuclear okay and the, the, the lower the cutoff score, for example, one or two, it, it must be that the protein is, it, it can be that the protein is cytoplasmic. Okay, so we can read more about this here. It says that the cutoff score uh, extracts putative nuclear localization signals with a score equal to or more than the selected cutoff score. For example, higher scores indicate a higher score of 8, 9 or 10 is actually specifically localized to the nucleus. And if ha it has a score of 7 or 8, that means that it is partially localized to the nucleus with a score of 3, 4 or 5 localized to both nucleus and the cytoplasm. And with a score of 1 or 2 is uh, localized to the cytoplasm. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the definition of cutoff score, cut score. Okay, so we go back. So here we are putting the sequence, here we are selecting the cutoff score, but for, um, and here, uh, Protein region search for bipartite analysis with a linker marker. So for this, we are going to click entire region. Okay, so we are just going to click entire region. Good. So now let's take an example. Okay, so let's uh, let me. I'm going to take this uh, particular sequence of a protein. This is an amino acid sequence of a protein which is localized in the nucleus actually. So we will just copy this and we're just going to paste it here. Okay, just paste it here right and then i'm just gonna hit on uh, here i'm just gonna hit entire reason here i'm gonna leave default parameters and then i'm gonna uh, click on predict nls so as you can see here uh, this red thing um is shown here predicted nls in a query sequence so basically in this sequence this the red um, red sequences they, they indicate that this is the nls or the nuclear localization signals as you can see that it this particular protein does not have any monopartite nuclear localization signal but it has uh, one bipartite mono uh, nuclear localization signals with a score of 5.2 okay so what does this mean uh, what 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 is the meaning of monopartite and the bipartite nuclear localization signals that i want to clarify so basically monopartite signals they consist of a single stress of basic amino acids uh, for example this is an example pkk rkv whereas in bipartite there is a linker in between for this is the linker sequence and this is the um, nuclear localization signal this is the first part and this is the second part but in between we have the linker sequence that's why it's a bipartite nuclear localization signal okay so this is the definition of monopartite and bipartite right so uh, this protein the, in which we predicted the nuclear localization signals, it was a nuclear protein and we can clearly see that uh, there is a presence of this nuclear localization signal in this particular protein. 
Okay, then what happens if we take this? Uh, if we take already a known cytoplasmic protein. So here I'm going to take this SRC42. Uh, this is a cytoplasmic protein. Let's take this protein sequence and put in this browser and see what it predicts. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy whole of this sequence. Okay, just copy it and then. I'm just going to do the similar analysis. I will just get rid of this. I'm just going to do click here, analyze mapper and paste that particular sequence. And here I'm going to make it entire reason. Okay. In this part here, I'm going to leave default and predict analysis. As you can see here, if this, when we put this protein sequence, it did not predict you know the no monopartite nuclear localization signals and no bipartite nuclear localization signals basically this protein does not have any nuclear localization signals uh, therefore it's a cytoplasmic protein okay so this is a cytoplasmic protein it's not a nuclear protein it's not a nuclear protein so how we we came to that conclusion based on our uh, in silico analysis okay so in um, so from this tool actually by predicting nuclear localization signals, we will be able to determine if a protein is a nuclear protein or if a protein is, is a non-nuclear protein. So uh, what is the tool? As I suggested in summary, whatever I said, nuclear localization signals, they are small sequences present in a protein that mediate the transport of the protein from the cytoplasm into the nucleus. Okay, so these are the small sequences. And how can, I, how can we predict the nuclear localization signals? We can predict the nuclear localization signals by using the tool called NLS Mapper. Okay, so this is the tool called NLS Mapper. So what we need to do, we need to put the sequence here and we, we have to leave this as a default and then we, we have to select here entire region. So what, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put uh, the amino acid sequence of the protein of which we want to determine if this contained nuclear localization signals or not okay then after that it will show us you know if this has nuclear localization signals or not for example we took the example of cytoplasmic protein and it does not contain any nuclear localization signals but when we did the similar analysis for uh, when we do the similar when we do the similar analysis for uh, this nuclear protein let's do it again just paste it here and do predict analysis we can clearly see that this protein contains nuclear localization signals, uh, which is a bipartite nuclear localization signal. Okay, so then this is how we can make, uh, we can be sure, um, at least by in silico, that if the protein contains uh, nuclear localization signals or not, if it contains, it's a nuclear protein. If it does not contain, it's not a nuclear protein, at least in silico. Thank you very much for your kind attention.